Bakang Umanti ka po ang ating napapanood dito sa loob ng arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. 66-67 ang ating talaan. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Ang Don Ross kasama si Mikey Reyes at kasama rin natin ang isang <laughs> national team player, Bea Daes. Mikey, oh, ba't parang uh, napatahin ka dyan? <laughs> Iba nga yung support na ito si Bea sa akin. On the floor, kahit nandito ako sa sidelines, supportado nga naman ako. Pero at the same time, maraming alam sa basketball, so nagtatanong din ako about it. Kasi nga, as we all know, he played, she played for the for the Perlas team itong yes. nakaraang, si, nakalang, nakaraang C game sa Singapore. Kasama nga niya itong si Giovanni Halalo dun sa Singapore. Tinuruan ka ba niya ni, ni Bea ng free throws, Mikey? <laughs> galit na galit siya sa akin mga araw na yun, <laughs> Speaking of free throws, alam naman natin, 21 for 39 ang Mapua sa free throw shooting sa kanilang huling laro kontra sa Perpetual. Let's see if that will become a factor here in the fourth quarter. Mapua continuing to run. Ito nga taste of their own medicine nga itong Arellano. Takbuhan din itong Mapua. Pinapakita na kaya din namin yung laro yan. 68-64. Final quarter. Final game na yung Piernes sa NCAA Season 91 kanina. Nanalo ang Perpetual contra San Sebastian, 84-70. At sa ating pangalawang naman, JRU defeating EAC, 67-47. Oraime, who had 8 of his 16 points in the previous quarter, been this sa turnaround hook. This is when execution is key, Anton. At akala lang ng tao na pag tumatakbo ang team, bara-bara, hindi may execution din yan involved. Nichols missing on the layup. Holtz decides to fire. The RC Holtz. Ito na yung breakout game na inaabangan ng Arellano community kay Deontay Holtz. Doon nga siyang kilala, Anton. Yung shot niya from the outside being that big and having a, a release that high. Yun nga naman ang bread and butter nitong si Deontay Holtz. Isa na lang ang kalabangan na mapuha. Inside pass. Turn around. Loader is good for Aguirre. Una puntos ni Aguirre dito sa laban na to. Like I was saying, yan naman yung free points na nakuha ni Coach Ato ko sa mga supporters niya. That's a good job for Aguirre. Salado. Pumasok sa loob. Nawala ang bola. Agawan. Sino ang mga kapulot? Oh! Everybody diving for the ball. Grabe nga naman yung action dito sa NCAA. Makikita mo talaga dito live kung gano'ng ka-intense yung labanan. Grabe. At napapasigaw ang mga fans ng Arellano at Mapua sa tuwing nakakahawak ang kanilang schoolmate ng bola. Agawan talaga eh. That's what's, what's nice nga naman about the college game, Anton. Yung magkakasama kayo sa school, eh. Nak nakikita mo sila sa school. So you see they are real people doing real stuff. So yun nga naman, kaya nga nag-wild dito yung mga kaklase nila kada na umuha nila yung bola. Balikan muna natin ngayon si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Roxanne? Kasama ko ngayon ang pinsan ng mabuha player na si Ezekiel Vitek. And ito si Trisha. Trisha, pwede mo bang i-share sa mga fans kung ano yung mga bonding activities nyo na pinsan mo? na talagang magiging basketball player siya paglaki? Oo naman kasi si Kuya naman talagang pata pa lang nagpa-basketball na siya at then persibida talaga siya mag-basketball kaya eto siya ngayon. Ayun naman pala eh. Congrats sa Kuya mo and now back to you Anton, Mikey. Thank you very much Roxanne. Si Ezekiel Biting. Dati ko nang kinocover yan. Membro siya ng NU Juniors basketball team. So very experienced playing under coach Jeff Napa. Ngayon naman playing under an experienced coach or player in Atoy Ko as Zach Nichols unloads his fourth triple. 12 points in the game for Zach Nichols. Tabang na naman ang Arellano. Ang layo nun, Anton. Pati ako nagulat, tinira niya. Pero mukhang komportable siya sa mga ganong range. Mintes, ang tira. Foul sa ilalim. 
Kanina ko pa nakikita itong si All Well, humingi ng bola sa ilalim. Medyo nagagalit na nga siya sa mga teammates niya kasi hindi nabibigyan. Pero ang maganda naman dito, he continues to play, continues to rebound. As we see, itong si Holtz nagpakawala ng dalawang tres. Eh, sumali naman itong si Zach Nichols. Ang layo nun, Anton. Four triples from Zach Nichols. Back-to-back -back triples from Deonce Holtz. So let me get this straight, Anton. His first game, he only had one. His second game, he had five. His third game, he had four. Now he has four with six and a half minutes to play. Titira-titira to. Titira-titira tong si Zach Nichols. So he's hit 14 three-pointers this season. Zach Nichols, the Phil Canadian gunslinger. Halalot. Inside pass, naago ang bola. CJ Isip, pinalik kay Oraime. Here comes Arellano. Salado, oh, nawala ang bola. Teka muna, sabi ng ating referee, double-triple now. Coach Atoy ko does not like the call. At ayan na, ibabalik na niya si Josan Nimes. But this is the specific adjustment that Coach Atoy told me he was gonna make. He's going to make sure that Josa Nimes is more fresh in the end game. But I really love this backcourt matchup, Anton. Halalon and Salado, we know they're the quickest They're the quickest backcourt in the league. Pero nilalabanan itong si Biteng at saka si Aguirre. Grabe. Grabe rin description na ating mga fans na nanonood sa social media. Survival of the fitness now. Itong laban na to. Nichols for three. Short. Salado to Holtz. 18 points for the Yancey Holtz. Nagwawala na ang mga tao dito, Anton. Grabe, dito na kayo. Live na kayo manood sa mga nanonood dyan. Biteng for three. Six points for Ezekiel Biteng. Pangalawang three-pointer. Dito sa laro. Nagpapakilala dito ngayon si Biteng at saka si Niles. Kalaban ito si Giovanni at saka si Salado. We were expecting nakakainin ng buhay itong dalawa ito. Pero ito nga, nagpapakitang gilas. Enriquez. Enriquez. What a time for Enriquez's first field goal to happen. Dito sa isang napaka-crucial na punto ng laban. Oraime. Tirang alahoy. Walang foul na tinawag. Tuloy. Live ball tayo. Limang minuto na lang ang nalalabi. 77, 74. Nako po. Yun ang mga useless fouls. Yun ang mga useless fouls kung kailan dumidiscard na si Giovanni biglang nag-stop yung play. Ito yung pasa ni Salado kay Deonce Holtz. This strong move of the game is brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life. Breakout game for Deonce Holtz. 18 points. At ito yung sinasabi mo kanina. Useless foul nga doon, Anton. Kita mo naman, galit na galit si Giovanni right now, pero kailangan niya mag-cool down and, you know, next play na lang babawi. Biting. Nasa loon ni Stevens. Ang mataas na pasa. Nieles for three. Wala. This is when I think they should give the ball to Josa Nimes para medyo mag-relax muna, bigay muna sa kanyang bola, let him cooperate. And this is a fresh and well-rested Josa Nimes. And this is good for Mapua. Late in the game, fresh pa itong si Josa. Salado, three to shoot. Holtz for three. Bit in. Oraime with a rebound. It's Mapua basketball. Nimes, umatake. Nimes! Count the basket! Exactly what I was saying. Give Nimes the ball. Three minutes to go. Ito na, Josa Nimes time for Mapua. 13 points for Josa Nimes. Captain ball ng Mapua Cardinals. Take na natin kung paano babawi si Halalon. Umikot, able to draw foul. Titira ng free throws. This is when the vets and the stars come out to play. Anton, 3.30 to go. Nimes on the other side. Halalon coming back with his own. Ito yung galaw ni Josa Nimes kanina. Umupo sa ere, absorbing the contact. Puntos para sa Mapua. Fast play of the game brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life.
for you to be able to absorb the contact from Holtz. Ganun kalakas itong katawan ni Josa Nimes. Josa Nimes is a showman. Giovanni Halalon is a show in himself. The way he plays the game gets his teammates involved, but it's crunch time. Season high for Giovanni Halalo, 22 big points. And make that 23. Tatlo ang kalabangan ng Arellano. Again, they deploy this full court pressure to create steals. Ayan na. Nimes. Bitig. Sumaksak. Bitig. Wala. Offensive rebound. Nidieles. Intense game indeed. Yung mga minions ng Mapua, ito, naglalaro nga. Papakitang gilas. Nieles, pinasa sa loob. Oraime, linabas. Biting, ubos ang oras. Josa Nim is asking for the ball. They should really consider to give, consider na sa kanya muna ibigay yung bola. Tingnan natin kung paano niya babasahin itong defense ng Arellano. Coaches say it all the time. They'd rather see a shot attempt rather than a turnover. Sino ang bibigay? Arellano Mapua. Ating malalaman. Maya maya lamang. Deontay Holtz with another three-point foul. Anton, you've been waiting for the breakout game of Deontay. Ito na nga. Pinapakitaan tayo ngayon. Correction, it was a long two. Pero meron ng 20 puntos si Deonzi Holtz. 81-76, Arellano. Nervous moments for both teams. Arellano and Mapua. Pero ang ating mga fans tuwing nakikita ang kanilang sarili sa big screen dito sa arena. Napapasmile. And why not? You're on cam. So go ahead. Show those pearly whites. And enjoy the action of NCAA Season 91. Ito yung long two ni Deonzi Holtz. He stepped on the line. Lamang ng lima ang Arellano University. At napakasaya nitong si Coach Jericho Diniera. He's been telling me, he's been waiting for Deonzi Holtz to have a breakout game. Ito nga, excited na excited si Coach Jerry. Off the court kasi makulit din talaga itong si Coach Jerry. Kaya nga naman, maganda rin, masaya din yung ganyang atmosphere for a team na yung coach mo. Ganyang kasaya to watch you play. Motik na makasteal itong Arellano University. Babalik ang bola sa Mapua na meron pang labing walong segundo sa kanilang shot clock. People are actually tweeting me right now. Anton, I called kasi a few days back na si Josa Nimes ang magpe-player of the game today. Kung sakaling manalo sila, he is not disappointed. Tinawagan na naman ng foul. Ang Arellano babalik sa free throw line. Si Allwell Oraime na merong labing limang rebounds at labing pitong puntos. At nice po namin. Kunin ang pagkakataon ito. Nabatiin ang ating Head of ABS-CBN sa Integrated Sports, Sir Dino Laurena. Sir Dino, happy, happy birthday to you, sir. Our uh, head of ABS-CBN Integrated Sports. Happy birthday, Sir Dino. We hope you're enjoying this intense matchup, Mapua and Arellano. Mintis ang free throw ni Oraime. Balik ang bola sa Cardinals. Nimes. Isit all day for three. Masyadong palakas. Isit nakuha ang offensive rebound. Nieles, balik kay Isin. Biting, pinasa kay Nimes. Kailangan tumira ng Mapua. Turnover. Again, like you said, okay nang tumira kayo. Huwag mo lang itapon yung bola. Crucial minutes here for the minions of Mapua. Huwag po kayong alis. Kapit mga kababayan. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. 81-77. Lamang ang Arellano University. Tense moments for the pep squads, the supporters, at syempre ang mga players ng bawat kubunan. Napaka-importante ng larong ito para sa Arellano at stake. Solo third, mapuha naman. They don't want to go down 1-3, Mikey. Ito nga, Anton. Four points, two minutes to go. Every possession is very important, is as important as getting the win today. Malapit na tayo sa huling dalawang minuto ng ating laban. Isip, 
contra Halalo. This was the matchup we've been anticipating. Salado. No, wala ang bola. It's Mapua basketball. Isit, umatake. Isit, wala. Oraime with the offensive rebound. Nimes says, let's set it up. Nimes, humihingi ng screen. Hindi tumating si Raflores. Isit, one-on-one contra kay Halalon. Biteng, binalik kay Isit. Pasok, baseline jumper. Nga naman, itong mga surprise surprise players nitong si Coach Atoy ko, Isit, crucial yung jumper na yun. Pressure back to Arellano to convert. Halalon. Change of pace. Halalon! Wala! Rebound Mapua. Nimes, nakuha ang bola. Naagaw! Ken Salado with a crucial steal. Ganda naman ng steal na yun from Salado. Doon pa sa, sa experience itong si Josa Nimes. I'm sure babalik siya doon sa play na yun. Wala pa sa penalty ang bawat kopanan. Both teams with three team fouls here in the fourth. Huwag po kayong alis. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. Bawal mag-CR. Sobrang ganda ng laban. Tama ka, Aaron. Why would you even think about stopping for a second when we have such an exciting game? Here inside the arena, sa lungsod ng San Juan, 81-79. Ito nga yung asawa pala ni Coach Jerry. Kita naman natin with the family enjoying this game. Yeah. Also, Joshua Simon. Ganda ng laban. And we cannot stress it enough kung gano'ng ka-intense itong laban na to from first to now. With only a minute left, mas gaganda pa to. Halalon, pinasa kay Holtz. Super ball! Oh, well, Oraime with a clutch rejection. Wow! Alam mo yung lilista na lang yung two points na nakakuha pa ni Allwell doon. Crucial possession para sa Mapua. Isit, umatake. Nimes, umatake. Nimes! Tapla na naman ang ating laban! Josa Nimes delivering in the clutch for Mapua. I call him the best player of this game. Kung mananalo sila ito, he is not disappointing. Labing limang putos para kay Josa Nimes, the number five score in the NCAA. Tignan natin kung ano magiging sagot ng Arellano. Salado, hinahanap si Halalon. Pinasa na lang kay Holtz. Holtz, masyadong panakas. Salado, offensive rebound. Nichols for three. Ah, Bang! Three! Grabe, Sam Nichols at third. He does not stop shooting. Maganda na siya-shoot na Coach Jerry Codinera, the happiest man on earth right now. <laughs> what a moment. Pero hindi pa tapos ang larong ito. Go signal. The green light. No hesitations. Bang, bang. The former goalie, the Phil Canadian gunslinger, making the defense minister so happy. What a moment. Pakinggan natin ang handle ni Coach Atoy ko. CJ, get the ball. Rob, Pac, pag gano'n mo sa bait kick dito, natanggot to. All well. Babakpigan mo si CJ. Babakpigan mo si CJ. Dito, long skip. Long skip dito. Pero baka rin ba? Situation against Perpetual. Papua was down by three. Josa Nimes took a three-pointer. Potential game-tying shot. Hindi pumasok. Tignan natin kung ano naman ang gagawin ng Papua ngayon. I'm sure he learned from that, Anton. Pero sure ako dito hindi magbabago. He is not afraid to take that shot again. Here we go. 84-81. Arellano in the lead. 22.4 seconds remaining. Josa Nimes nakuha ang bola. Pinasa kay Isit. Exequiel Bidek! Anton, I did not expect that shot to come from anyone 
But Josh Nagives, Mero Biteng showing us. Grabe. Grabe pinapakita nito minions ng Mapua today. Credit goes to Coach Akoy Ko for a perfectly drawn up play. They, even Aureliano wasn't expecting na si Biteng yung dadaan sa ilalim. Open open siya dun siya shot na yun. Yan ang ikasyap na deadlock dito sa ating laro. Ngayon naman, puntaan natin ang huddle ni Coach Jerry Guadagnera. Sinabi ni Coach Jerry Codiniera, we will take the last basket. Ubusin nila ang ora, 16.7. Tabla tayo, Mikey, 84 all. Yun ang importante na gagawin ngayon ng Arellano. Hindi dapat bumalik pa yung bola sa Mapua and give them another chance at this at this game. So kailangan, either they, they make it or they miss it, tapos na yung game na to, or we go to overtime. Marami mga shooters ang Arellano ngayon. Holtz, Halalot, Nichols, Salado on the floor. Kasama nila si Enriquez. But then Arellano has two fouls to give Anton. So I, I expect them then na pag medyo nakalusot na yung bantay nila, fouling na nila para ilabas ulit yung bola. Kapit mga kapamilya, sino ang magwawagi? Mapua, Arellano. Ken Salado to put the ball in play. Here we go. Holtz, nakuha ang bola. Hand-off kay Salado. Hand-off kay Halalon. Sampung segundo na lang ang nalalabi. Halalon, binabantayan ni Nieles. Halalon, umatake. Halalon, Enriquez for the win! No! Bintes at tira ni Enriquez. And we are going to overtime for the second time here in NCAA Season 91. They were ready for Giovanni Alalo and they knew na siya kukuha ng bola siya at the drive. Kita mo naman yung depensa. All yellow shirts ready for the drive of Alalo. And may not be the best shooter to be re to be waiting sa corner kay Giovanni. Kung mas maganda kung siguro kung si Holtz o si Zach Nichols yung nandun. But with that said, here we go, overtime Anton. Hindi pa tapos ang ating aksyon dito sa NCAA Season 91. Overtime, susunod na. Nagbabalik po at nagbabagang aksyon dito sa NCAA Season 91. Nice one daw. OT game. Go Cards. Ito naman. OT. Magaling kami dyan. Sabi ni Hazel Ortega. This is the second overtime game this season. The first overtime game was San Sebastian against JRU kung saan nanalo ang San Sebastian 91-89. to It's crazy, Anton. Ako lang ata ang analyst na tumatayo. Nakatayo ako during that whole last play of Arellano. Expect nyo may mangyari ito. Nagkakainitan si Isit at si Halalon. Ganon ka-importante ang larong ito para sa dalawang kubana. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Ako po ang inyong likod, Anton Rojas. Kasama si Mikey Reyes at syempre kasama rin natin ang court sign si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Talk about that last play of Arellano, Mikey. The least, the guy you least expect to shoot, shot to Mira para sa Chiefs. Yun nga, Anton. We were all expecting, everyone in this building was expecting everyone at home na si Giovanni ang mapuha ng mola. But we were also expecting na ready ang mapuha doon. Kaya nga, hindi lang yun yung best na shooter na malalagay mo sa corner. Pero ito na nga tayo. Kaya pa nilang ipanalo itong game na to. Zach Nichols, who hit that big three a while ago bago nakabawi si Ezekiel Biteng. Going back door, na iwan si Josa Nimes. Nimes had no choice but to foul Zach Nichols. I'm enjoying the extra extracurricular activity that is happening between CJ Isit and Giovanni Halalon. We all know Giovanni, hindi, hindi, hindi bibigay yan. Eh, alam naman natin, CJ Isit. Palaban din tong batang to. 85-84, a split from the free throw line. Para kay Zach Nichols. Raflores with a floater. Raflores! 
Pero Flores has been the surprise for Mapua. Pero na siyang labing darawang putos, Mikey. But that's what's nice about Raf Raf Flores. Matagal din umupo yan sa bench kasi nga nag-small line up yung coach Atoy. Pero pagbalik niya, ready to play agad siya. Oraime again showing us the defensive presence. Showing the defensive minister. Nakaya rin yan dumibensa. The number one blocker in the league. All well, Oraime registering block number three. Dito sa larong ito. 86-85 in favor of Mapua. Nimes, bitin ang kanyang floater rebound, Deontay Holtz. Alalot, slowing down the pace just a little bit. Balikan natin si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Roxanne? According to Coach Barry of Arellano University, he wants his players to know that we're still in the game. So they don't have to panic, they just have to execute well and watch out for the other team's shooters. Back to you guys. Tignan natin kung uh, madedepensa ng Arellano ang shooters ng Mapua. Kasi kanina, eto, nakalusot si Ezekiel Biteng. That time, he was bothered by Salado who was following him. So, wala ng easy three-pointers. Yun ang gustong mangyari ng Arellano. Medyo pumabagal yung laro dito, Anton. It's because hindi makastop. Both teams have made stops. Kaya nga, medyo nilalakad ngayon yung bola. Pero... Ito nga, we can expect na itatakbo na naman ng Arellano at Mapua ito. Nasa penalty na ang Mapua. This is not good news for the side of the Cardinals. Deontay Holtz, ito na yung breakout game na inaabangan ng buong Arellano community sa kanya. 21 points for Deontay. Putting his squad up. 88-86. And what about Zach Nichols? 16 points in the game. Four three-point bombs, Mikey. Well, I'm not surprised. Zach Nichols nga naman, dalawang game na yung pumupotok. Even nung first game niya, kahit 1 of 13 yan nung first game. Alam mo naman na yun yung role niya sa team na to and he will not stop shooting. Correction, 5 three-pointers ang naipasok ni Zach Nichols. Is it in trouble? Pinasa ang bola kay Ra Flores. Almost an 8-second violation. Mapua, down by 3. Is it? Biteng, Gomera sa labas. There's another triple from Ezekiel Biteng. And again, the guy who sent us into overtime. Hindi pa upos yung bala nitong si Biteng. Maraming pinahon na bala si Ezekiel. That's his fourth three-point bomb. Holtz. Sina ba yan? Ang dalawang yellow shirts. Holtz. Short stab is good. That's his shot. That is his shot. Buti na lang dun siya nahanap nitong si Kadavis. Sweet shooting again by Holtz. 91-89. Is it? Tumira sa labas. Wala. Oraime. May foul bago niya naingat ang bola. May not be the best shot right there for Mapua. Is it taking a, an ill-advised three-pointer? Right, Pero buti na lang. Nandun si All Well. All is well pag nasa ilalim ito. All well. Julius Cadavis, fifth personal foul. Pero ito yung tira kanina ni Ezekiel Biteng. At ito yung sagot ni Deontay Holtz. 24 big points for Holtz. 10 rebounds. Double-double performance for Holtz. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Raf Flores, nakaw play. Hindi na kompleto. And the referees want to review it para malaman talaga kung sino ang huling dumapik sa bola. But... They decide to maintain their call that it's Arellano basketball. Alalon, or rather Salado. Nakatingin kay Coach Jerry Codiniera. Holtz, Dinoble team. Holtz, pinasa kay Salado. Inside pass, Enrique, pinalik kay Salado! Salado being that small, kaya niya mag-operate dyan sa ilalim. Ang ganda ng floater dyan, using the, using the bank. Four-point lead. Dito sa overtime para sa Arellano. 22 points off turnovers. Mapua just six. Big reason why the Chiefs are in a good position right now. Isin, a gutsy three-point attempt. Turnover. I think they should really start attacking this zone defense of Arellano. Kailangan mong basagin itong zone defense kung gusto mo makakuha ng 
open shot. I'm, and I'm expecting Josa Nimes to attack. Watching these two awesome ballers, Josa Nimes and Gio Halalot. Maraming salamat at Ballers Pilipinas. Here it naman ni Arian Jane Dabu. How I wish this game happened when I was still sports editor. How intense. Intense indeed, Miss Arian Jane. We hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Giovanni Halalon out to Salado for three. That's big. Big five point spin right there for Salado. One under gold stab and another. That's a three points naman coming from Giovanni Halalon. Pito na ang kalamangan ng Arellano dito sa overtime. Huwag po kayong alis. Magbabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. Giovanni Halalon doing what he does best. The number one assist man in the NCAA. Nakita ang kanyang paboritong teammate. Kent Salado. Libre libre sa tres. But what is not noticed sometimes, Anton, yung pick na sinet ni Enriquez doon para ma-open itong si Salado. Eh, Tamang-tama nga naman, pag-drive na pag-drive ni Giovanni. Nakaset na yung screen itong si Enriquez for that shot from Salado. That could be a potential knockout punch delivered by Arellano University. Ang mapuha ngayon, parang boxingero na bumagsak sa lona. Tignan natin kung makakabangon sila. Can they beat the 10 count? We still have a minute and 25 seconds remaining here in overtime. Nichols, linabas muna. Balik si Donald Gumaru sa laro. Changing defense itong Arellano dito sa overtime. Ito na naman, balik silang tao-tao. Tingnan natin kung paano magre-react itong Mapua. Nieles. Nimes. One-on-one -on -one contra kay Holtz. Nimes. Easy basket. Yan naman ang maganda doon since... Four nga nila itong si Nimes, power forward nila. Ang pantay niya si Deontay Holtz. So kayang-kaya niyang lusutan with his dribbling moves. Ang ating officials, Molly De Luna, Carl Marcinez, AJ Escobedo will check out our replay para masigurado kung sino talaga ang huling humawak sa bola. Five points, Anton, 1.16 to go. Kayang-kaya pa to nakita naman natin. This game has been full of runs. So one more run for Mapua. Ito na last chance nila to grab this game. Ito, panorin natin, Mikey. Inbound pass mula kay Holtz. Hindi natin kita doon, Anton. <laughs> Mahirap yung angulo mo yun. <laughs> kumpiyansa, kumpiyansa yung itsura ni Niles doon. Feeling ko, kumama talaga ito kay Kumara. Ito naman si Kumara, tingnan mo naman. Mukhang stress na stress. <laughs> Mukhang tumama nga sa kanya. That is a face of uncertainty. Donald Gumaru. Referee still trying to make sure kung ano talaga ang kanilang magiging huling decision. Sa napaka-crucial na moment na to sa so overtime, our second overtime dito sa NCAC sa 91. What a game. What action. Panoorin natin. Isa pang angulo. I think it hit Gumaru's knee. Referee AJ Escobedo is right there next to Commissioner Coach by Cristobal. What's good about this, the referee did not say kung saan yung bola. So wala siyang initial call. So pwedeng pwede niya ilipat kung saan man to. And they call a jump ball. Possession arrow. Possession arrow. Favoring Mapua, so babalik ang bola dito sa panic ng Cardinals. Pero kailangan makakuha ng punto sa Mapua dito sa pagkakataong ito. Menina, pinasa kay Nimes. Nimes, fouled by Salado. That's what I was saying. I'm expecting Joseph nga to keep attacking, lalo na dito sa last minute of the game. And right on time, penalty itong... Ito, Arellano. I'm sorry, medyo na tabu, na tama nata sa ulo itong si Josa Nimes. This is not the right time for Josa Nimes to sit on the bench. Josa Nimes, tinamaan sa mata. He's good, he's good. He's gonna shoot two free throws with a minute and 12 seconds remaining. Alam mo, itong si Josa Nimes, biglang na 
lumaki dahil sa liit na lineup ng Arellano University ngayon. Josa Nimes was telling me he was actually playing the point guard position in his second year. So, a big transition from point guard to power forward. Naputokan si Josa Nimes. Naputokan. Lagyan nyo lang ng bandi dyan. Hindi pwedeng umupo right now itong si Josa Nimes. What an unfortunate moment para dito sa Mapua. Ang karilang top gun na si Josa Nimes. Tingnan natin kung paano nangyari yun. Nagkaroon ng umpugan. Wow. This, this situation of Josa Nimes, masakit to as a player. Kasi one minute to go, minamadali mo na lang, mawala na yung dugo para lang makalaro ka na ulit. CJ Ise missing the first free throw. Alam naman natin, Anton, free throws. <laughs> Malaking bagay to sa game. <laughs> alam na alam mo yan, partner. You're speaking Pero, from experience. Mas nakakakaba to for CJ Isid. Hindi naman siya yung final and he has to take the free throws. Pero yun nga, buti naman. Matibay-tibay itong si, si, si JC, CJ Isid at na-shoot na itong pangalawang free throw. Importante possession para sa Arellano. Look at the defense of Niles. On Halalon. Halalon using the screen from Deonsi Holtz. Six to shoot. Halalon, umikot. Halalon, umatake. Giovanni Halalon! Giovanni Halalon, icing on the cake. Season high, 25 points for Giovanni Halalon. Isil, moving pick on Raflores. Sayang ang pagkakaton para sa Mapua. And the worst time for a foul like that from Raflores. Moving screen. They needed that basket. Panorin natin muli, Raflores. May kasamang braso. Turnover. Balik ang bola sa Arellano. Mga kababayan, tuloy pa rin ang NCAA Season 91 action sa Susan ng Delinggo on Tuesday. Babalik tayo dito sa Arena sa Lungsod ng San Juan. 2 p.m. po, Lyceum versus San Pena Red Lions. Susubok ang makabangon matapos matalo sa unang pagkakataon kontra sa Letran. And speaking of Letran, maglalaro sila at 4 p.m. kontra sa San Sebastian. So... More action coming your way next week, Tuesday, July 21. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos dito, Mikey. 98-92, bola ng Arellano. Kaya-kaya pa to. We've seen weirder things in the NCAA. And knowing Mapu, hindi bibigay to. Itong mga minions of Mapu. Kita mo naman, Anton. Apat na yung maliit nila. Four small guys and all well. Diyos Animes. We see... The wound above his left eye, nagkaumpugan po kanina sa lado at Nimes. Naputokan si Nimes. He had to come out of the game with a minute and 12 seconds remaining. CJ Isit, nago ang bola! CJ Isit all the way! Like I said, hindi bibigay itong mga minions ng Mapo. Ito na naman sila. Trying to get steal after steal. All well, Oraime. Binangga si Dion C. Holtz. Penalty ng dalawang kumunan. Titira ng dalawang free throws si Dion C. Holtz. Holtz really stepping up today. Finally, nag-breakout na siya dun sa slump niya. I've been covering his game, his games. Yung last two nila, I covered that. I covered that with you actually, Anton. And we saw how Holtz struggled. Kita naman natin ngayon. He started aggressive. He's continuing to, to be aggressive. And ito na siya. If not for Holtz, I believe wala sila sa stage na to. Of course, Giovanni showing us how he is. Kanya naman lagi si Giovanni. He will not. Consistent niya si Giovanni. We all know that. And it's important for Holtz to pick his game up if they want to go long in the season. Holtz, 25 points, going for 26. It remains that way. 25 points. You mentioned Giovanni Halalo. 25 points also. So a combined 50 mula kay Holtz. At halalon, pero ito, Mapua, ayaw pa pakawalan ang larong ito, J.P. Nieles. Grabe itong minions ng Mapua, Anton. Parang ako silang, silang plaka dito. 
Kita mo naman, pull up three. What confidence right there for Niles at this stage of the game. Stepping up, itong si JP Niles. Napakatibay ng dibdib ng batang to, JP Niles. But I think they will check if that was a three. Ito, makikita natin ngayon, Anton. Ito, magandang angulo. Please be a three. Please be a three. This game is crazy. I that think. is so close. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yung shoe, di ba yung pinakaharap naman nun, parang hindi nakatapak sa floor. So I think they should consider that fact. Dos lang daw. Ayon wow. sa ating referee. The breaks are not going for Mapua. First, the injury to their veteran guard, Jos Animes, and now that, that three-pointer ruled at two. Pero mahaba pa ito, 24.1. Dito sa overtime, 99-96. Arenado University on top. I think it's important kung sino yung ipafoul nila dito. Giovanni Halalot. Nako, he picked this ball. He, he, picked, he picked the ball up. Pinasa kay Holtz. Nakatawid ang Arellano. Salado. And they are not fouling. Pinasa kay Enriquez. Halalot. Holding on to the ball like he's holding on for dear life. I do not understand why this, they did not foul. Exactong 24 seconds nung nilabas ng Arellano yung bola. I think Coach Atoy was telling them to foul, pero they were waiting for Arellano to throw the ball away. Pero sometimes you have to be safe with those kinds of situations. Giovanni Halalot, sa kanyang pakatlong taon sa NCAA, the pride of Cagayan de Oro City, 22 years old, got into basketball dahil sa kanyang tatay na si Vicente had his first varsity experience in Sacred Heart of Jesus in Montessori back in his hometown of Cagayan de Oro missing the first free throw. He's making everybody, lahat ng kanya mga kababayan, very proud with his performance today. Pero, siyempre, ang gusto ni Giovanni, makuha ang panalo. He needs to make this free throw. And he does. Two four possession ball game. Four seconds to go, four points. Yan ang sinasabi ko, if they fouled earlier, they would have had a, cha a chance. What a game! What a finish! Hard-fought win para sa kumpanan ni Coach Jerry Godinera. Another heartbreaker of a loss para sa Mapua, Mikey. Kung sinwerte lang sila dito sa game nito in the past games, we would, malay mo, sila ngayon yung nandun sa top ng standings. But this win for Arellano, they are now in solo third, surpassing the San Beda Red Lions. And they are just a game behind perpetual what a finish. What a game. Final score, Arellano 100, Mapua 96. Para makamit ang kanilang pangatlong panalo dito sa NCAA Season 91. Our best player of the game, Mikey, your choice. For the first time, I give it not to Giovanni Halalon. You know Giovanni will bring his game every day. Pero itong si Deontay Old. Big game, 25 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists and 2 blocks. He show, he's showing us that he is back. Tapos na yung slump niya, Coach Jerry, continuing to give him the confidence and all his teammates. Kita mo naman, ang saya siya nila for Deontay Holtz. Of course, this win is important for them. And without Deontay, baka hindi nila nakuha ito. Two words, breakout performance for Deontay Holtz. Grabe ang mga numero at grabe rin ang ating game day ngayon sa NCA. Great working with you again, partner. Thank you, thank you, Anton. And next week ulit, dito sa NCA. Sure ball, partner. Perpetual, Nanalo contra sa San Sebastian sa ating unang laban, 84 to 70. JRU winning against EAC, 67 47. At sa ating pangatlong laban, Mapua losing in overtime to Arellano, 100 to 96. Sa ngala ni Direk Alneri, Roxanne Montelegre, Mikey Reyes, ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Ross, nagsasabing magkita-kita ulit tayo sa susunod na lingko para sa nagbabangang aksyon dito sa Season 91 ng NCAA ilabas. I'm the lead.